getting ready for a match here right now, though, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, exclamation mark bracket to make sure Ooh, that baby. you get um, your uh, updates on the bracket. And also, uh, Detox, a Toby Ghost featured match where they have to have their Toby oh, Ghost sweet. on. Okay. We're going to be able to yep. see what they're seeing. We got all the cameras ready. We're about to get our first match started, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, Detox, right, sweet. let's get a quick prediction here, man. Quick prediction before we start here. We got team oh, man. Water Patat or we got team Astro Pub. Who you got oh. today? <laughs> you know, I want to see Astro. I want to see Astro Pub and Buster pull this out. But uh, Patat and Stefano, I, I think they're pretty good. I think they're pretty good. And uh, I mean, I, if, if Astro Pub's coming in this with a history book to launch from his missile launcher and just annihilate the enemy, then he might have a chance. But I don't know. It's it, this. This could be. This we could see an upset. We could see an upset. Maybe Buster the Destroyer has been putting in some serious work. Uh, hey, but yeah, Patat, Patat, and and Stefano. It's it's that's where I got my money on. Um, All right. But it's going to be entertaining nonetheless. And yeah, the Toby Ghost is live, so you guys can see where our uh, competitors are looking. You yep. can see that little circle moving around. That is uh, that is Patat's, uh Toby, and the one on the right is 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 Astro Pubs. By the way, if you guys didn't know, Toby does have their Toby Eye Tracker 5. Uh, they do have it at 15% off. You guys can type exclamation mark Toby in the channel, but make sure you guys go check it out, please, because the Toby is actually changing the game. It is changing the game right now for how it uh, how it's uh, being used in Star Citizen. You can free look. You can actually target with your eyes. There's so much stuff that you can do that I know that Toby is working on that's going to be coming up that we're going to be having on there. So... Very excited for this, um, and I'm going to give the countdown and get this match currently started. Let's go back to our multi-view, and we'll get a countdown now. All right. All right, count match countdown. Let's get this party started, ladies and gentlemen, in five, four, three, two, one. Go! Shafts off, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to get the shafts going. They're about to get it started here. And here they go. The competitors are out. Detox. I'm excited, man. How you feeling? <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm uh, <laughs> wondering how the first opening fight is going to begin. So we have two Aurora LNs, right? And then the other ship in this fight is the fixed uh, repeater arrow. So yes. uh, it looks like our content credits have got the Auroras and their community members have got the arrows. I wonder why they, was that a conf pre confirmed decision or could they choose who took no, which they, ship? They actually, they can actually choose whatever they want to fly. So right now we got two content creators that actually chose the Aurora, which is very surprising. So right now we got Matteo Stefano and then we got Buster Destroyer right now in arrows. Uh, so guys, they're meeting from east to west right now. They're about to meet in the middle. They got the box missions ready. They got to find their opponents and make sure they stay in the perimeter to go against each other. Detox. It's about to go down, so it, it's going to take missiles a few minutes. are being launched. I'm oh, seeing missiles, missiles launched already. Yep. Oh, wow. And I think somebody's already down. We have one ship out. I think that might be potentially be Buster's <laughs> arrow out of the game. She's entered another dimension uh, <laughs> for now. Now we're back onto uh, the, the multi-view. But yes, we have... Uh, <laughs> We have the LNs engaging. I think they're finally moving into range. I saw a missile loose from somebody there. I did see a missile loose from somebody, but uh, I'm not yeah. sure if that was if that was uh, one of our competitors or. Uh, yeah, right now we got some engagement here with Border Protect. She's actually going after Buster the Destroyer, who's currently flying right now in the arrow and getting some damage there. But uh, remember, we, uh, we got Matteo Stefano, who's also in the arrow. So it's going to be pretty much Buster the Destroyer. I, I, I mean, if if this was you in this match right now, what would be your strategy um, when you have an arrow and uh, an Aurora? I mean, the arrow is going to be the more maneuverable fighter in 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 this uh, in this matchup. So I'm wondering why the the content creators gave it to their, their community members. I imagine that they felt more confident that the arrow yep. would, would would be better in their in their wingman's hands. Um, but yeah, for, for this kind of matchup, I mean, I would be aiming to remove the enemy's arrow from the equation as quickly as possible, uh, and trying to get both ships onto onto the arrow and taking it down together. But all the while you're doing that, you're potentially going to be taking a hammering from that Aurora LN. The Aurora LN isn't actually a terrible ship. It's actually a pretty, pretty solid 
solid ship. I mean, as you can see, look at the way this thing is moving in Atmo already. Dude, I, 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 I'm loving Atmo right now. Everything looks great. Uh, I, I just love how, you know, we're, we were actually just watching Astropub there, and it, like the Toby Ghost was matching him eye for eye. It's so accurate. It's so good. I'm telling you, man. Um, I, I'm sorry, man. I, I love this Toby Ghost just being on there so we can see exactly what he's looking at. It's but he's cool. literally locking yeah. on into those arrows and making sure. Look, right there, he did the ice targeting right there. The gaze target right there. Yeah. He got it locked on very easy with, you know, with the Toby Ghost. Been absolutely incredible. Getting some shots uh, against um, Matteo Stefano there. I think Matteo Stefano right now is trying to take out, um, uh, I believe, is trying to take out, uh, what do you call it, um, Astro Pub right now because I believe Buster yeah, I'm really impressed. Out. I'm impressed Astro Pub staying on target here. So Stefano is strafing him very quickly with the arrow with that uh, higher maneuverability. He's coming back. You can see as soon as he crosses him and he gets the kill. As soon as yep. he crosses uh, Astro Pub's nose, he's lost him. But by the time Astro Pub's turned on to target, Stefano's already turned on to target and is already firing back at uh, at Astro Pub's LN there. So that's the that's the advantage of having a more maneuverable ship in Atmo. You're able to just fly by, burn through, turn, and get back on target before the other ship can can uh, turn, turn its nose to you. Uh, and now it looks like Patat is launching mis missiles at Buster. She wants to fire off yep. some of those flares. They're generally pretty easy to avoid those missiles at the moment if you can fire off a flare in time. And, I think what uh, I love about combat like... right now, Detox, is that you can't really shoot and shoot missiles at the same time. I think it was be because back then when combat was happening, you could do that all together. But right now, I believe the Astro Pub is down. All they have left is uh, Busted Destroyer here for uh, Water Potate and Ma uh, Matteo Stefano in order to move into, uh, you know, one winner side on the bracket here. But I think they're doing great so far. It looks like their, their teamwork is going well. But, I mean, I think Matteo Stefano, man, I, I, I believe he plays a lot of, a lot of PvP, so... I'm pretty sure he, um, um, you know, he's he's doing well. He but Busted, kill. Yeah, Busted Destroyer, though, right now is doing very, very well and managing herself. The ship is, is red. Yes, it is yes. red. Central there is goes. red, and there she goes. She's there, down. There so it goes, go. man. Patat takes the kill. Patat takes the final kill on Busted Destroyer, uh, who valiantly <laughs> stayed out to the end there. We have some, uh, we got some something going on in the hospital. Over at Grim Hex, it looks like a uh, headless henchman has arrived to take the lost competitors off to purgatory or hell or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, that was that was actually awesome. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, Stefano, very. Stefano taking out Astro Pub. Astro Pub doing a great job staying on target there. Very good. And using the Toby Eye Tracker very well as well. You can see him using the ghost, looking up on the target, angling onto the onto target, laying in those shots, tracking the pip nicely. He did really well there. Uh, and Buster did a great job of staying alive uh, till the end with two ships hammering on her this, the whole time. Yes, yeah, so Water Potate, uh, Water Potate moving on into the winner's bracket here and, and getting that win versus uh, Team Astro Pub here with Astro Pub and Buster Destroyer. But I'm not going to lie, I was very impressed with Astro Pub and Buster Destroyer because Buster really kind of, you know, she very held her own. And I'm very impressed by that. It was a very great yeah, yeah. show so far, man. Um, but you know, I, I I'm not gonna lie, man. The the, the Toby Ghost is absolutely is so cool, dude. Like I love being able to see what they're seeing. Um, yeah, but, you know, it's we're a great doing addition it. to something like this, dude. It's so cool, man. Uh, we're gonna be seeing the Toby Ghost featured match every other match, but absolutely incredible, man. Great showing here from both teams. Uh, that's gonna put um uh, Detox the Astro Pub down to uh the first team in the losers bracket, guys. And again, Correct. exhibition mark bracket for you to stay updated. Uh, on the bracket so you guys can see how the bracket it forms and how the bracket is going to go so um but we're going to get ready here pretty soon for our second round